Hello everybody and welcome back to the Praetorian. I am going to say like I said before, um, the reason why I have my video looping right now and not doing screen capture is because the, these notes uh, are notes that I took back in, um, let me get the information here but they were back in 2013 back when I first started doing research on the topics that I'm talking about it was in September on September the 21st of 2013 and these notes uh, I took and I wrote them out back when I um, also decided that I wanted to get back into writing which I haven't done for quite a long time so when I did it there was a lot of bad punctuation and I ended up going and uh, getting back into learning punctuation again but this has a lot of uh, extra question marks and periods and just they're not supposed to be where they're supposed to be so I didn't want to transfer that over to uh, my uh, video and the reason why I'm uh, doing this is to transfer my Facebook notes off of Facebook onto my videos to make a video archive of everything so with all that said you know I just wanted to make it clear that's the reason why I have it back there and even though the pictures are, don't match up with the topic that I'm talking about I put it on there just for eye candy for something people that people could look at you know I've had people mention in comments that the video doesn't match the topic but that's the reason why I'm doing it so with that said I am going to also say that I'm going to keep my video down to roughly 15 minutes so or within that time range so I'm going to uh, end this within that time frame <clears throat> with that said I can get back to my notes and this comes out of my uh, notes taken on September the 21st 2013 the Royal Academy of Sciences and Subjects 
Now I've already done the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences and I am starting on the Prussian Academy of Sciences. The Prussian Academy of Sciences was an academy established in Berlin, Germany in or Germany on July the 11th, 1700, four years after the Academy der Künste, or Künste, or Kunst, aka D-E-M-I-E-D-E-R-K-U-N-S-T-E, or Arts Academy to which Berlin Academy may also refer. In the 18th century, it was a French language institute and its most active members were Hoganots and Hog, uh, who had fled religious prosecution from France. Now, Hoganots are an ethno-religious group of French Protestants. Origins Prince Elector Frederick III of Brandenburg, Germany founded the academy under the name of Kurfürstdelinch Brandenburgish K U R F U R S T L I C H Brandon Burgish B R A N D E N B U R G I S C H E Societat S O C I E T A T Der D E R Wessenchaften Wissenschaften W I S S E N S C H A F T E N Electoral Brandenburg Society of Sciences Upon the advice of Godfrey Leibniz, who was appointed president. Unlike other academies, the Prussian Academy was not directly funded out of the, the state treasury. Frederick granted it the monopoly of producing and selling calendars in Brandenburg, a suggestion from Leibniz. As Frederick was crowned King of Prussia in 1701, creating the Kingdom of Prussia, the Academy was renamed Kunaglich or Kunaglich K O N I G L I C H Prebish or Prubish P R E U B I C H E Sozietat S O Z I E T A T Der D E R Wissenschaften, W-I-S-S-E-N-S-C-H-A-F-T-E-N, Royal Prussian Society of Sciences. While other academies focused on a few topics, the Prussian Academy was the first to teach both sciences and humanities. In 1710, the Academy statute was set, dividing the academy into two sciences and two humanity classes. This was not changed until 1830, when the physics, mathematics, and the philosophy, history classes replaced the four old classics, or classes. Frederick the Great the reign of King Frederick II of Prussia, Frederick the Great, saw major changes to the academy. 
1744, the Novelle, N-O-U-V-E-L-L-E, Societe, S-O-C-I-E-T-E, Literaire, L-I-T-T-E-R-A-I-R-E, in the Society of Sciences were merged into the Konaglich, K-O-N-I-G-L-I-C-H-E, Academy, A-K-A-D-E-M-I-E, <clears throat> Der, D-E-R, Weissenchoften, W or Wissenschaften, W I S S E N S C H A F T E N, Royal Academy of Sciences. An obligation from the new statute were public calls for ideas on unsolved scientific questions with a monetary reward for solutions. The Academy acquired its own research facility in the 18th century, including an observatory in 1709, an anatomical theater in 1717, a collegium medico chirurgicum medico slash chirurgicum m e d i c o slash c h i r u r g i c u m in 1723 a book Botanical garden in 1718 and a laborato laboratory in 1753. However, those were later taken over by the University of Berlin. As a French language institution, its publications were in French, such as the Hostier de l'Academie. H I S T O I R E D E L A C A D E M I E Royale R O Y A L E Des D E S Sciences S C I E N C E S Et E T Bellus B E L L E S Latrice L E T T R E S D D E Berlin B E R L I N which was published between 1749 and 1796 A linguistics historian from Princeton University Hans Arsleff notes that before Frederick ascended the throne in 1740, the academy was overshadowed by similar bodies in London and Paris. Frederick made French the official language and speculative philosophy the most important topic of study. The membership was strong in mathematics and philosophy and included notable philosophers such as Immanuel Kant, John Baptiste de no, Le, La Ronde de Alamembert, Pierre Louis de Mapertuis, and Etienne de Cardillac. Cardillac. However, the Academy was in a crisis for two decades at mid-century due to scandals and internal rivalries such as the debates between Newtonism and Leibnizian views and the, personality, and the personality conflicts between the philosopher Voltaire and the mathematician Mapertuis.
or Mapertuis, yeah, M A U P E R T U I S. At a higher level, Mapertuis, the director from 1746 to 1759, in a monarchist argued that the action of individuals was shaped by the character of the institution that contained them, and they worked for the glory of the state. By contrast, de Al Alembert took a republican rather than monarch monarchical approach and emphasized the internal republic of letters as the vehicle for scientific scientific advance. By 1789, however, the Academy had gained an international repute while making major contributions to German culture and thought. Frederick invited Joseph Louis, Louis Lagrange to succeed Leon, Leonhard Euler as director, both were world-class mathematicians. Other intellectuals attracted to the philosopher's kingdom were Francesco Algarotti, John Baptiste de Boyer, and Julie, Julian Ofre de la Matri. Immanuel Kant published religious writings in Berlin which would have been censored elsewhere in Europe. 19th century. Beginning in 1815, research businesses led by academy committees such as the Great Roman Archaeology Committee or the Oriental Committee were founded at the academy. They employed mostly scientists who worked alongside the corresponding committee members. University departments eminent, emanated from some of these businesses after 1945. 20th century. On November the 25th, 1950, Albert Einstein presented his field equations of general relativity to the academy. Under the rule of Nazi Germany from 1933 to 1945, the academy was subject to the Gleichschaltung, G-L-E-I-C-H-S-C-H-A-L-T-U-N-G a Nazification process that was established to take totalitarian control over various aspects of society. However, compared with other institutions such as the universities where Jewish employees and members were expelled starting in 1933, Jewish <clears throat> academy members were not expelled until 1938 following a direct request by the Ministry of Education. The new Academy statute went into effect on June 8, 1939, reorganizing the Academy according to the Nazi leadership principle known as Führerprinzip, F-U-H-R-E-R, -R -E <coughs> sorry, P-R-I-N, ZIP. Following World War II, the Soviet military administration in Germany, or SMAD, reorganized the academy under the name Deutsche Akademie der Wissenschaften zu Berlin. In English, that is German Academy of Sciences at Berlin. On July the 1st, 1946, in 1972, it was renamed Akademie der Wissenschaften der DDR or ADW. 
in English, that's Academy of Sciences of the GDR. At its height, the ADW had 400 researchers and 24,000 employees in locations across East Germany. Following German reunification, the academy was disbanded in the Berlin Bradenbergish Akademie der Wissenschaften, Berlin Bradenburg Academy of Sciences and Humanity was founded in its place in compliance with a 1992 treaty between the state parliaments of Berlin and Brandenburg. Sixty of the ADW members broke off and created the private Leibniz Society in 1993. Notable members Jacob Paul von Gundling, Gundling or Gundling, Dimitri Cantemer, foreign member, 1714, Gossen von Stein, vice president, doctor and member, 1732, Lenhard Euler, 1741 to 1766, Joseph Louis Lagrange, 1766 to 1786 Montesquieu foreign member 1746 Dennis Diderot foreign member 1751 Johann Heinrich Lambert C 1763 Manuel Kant foreign member 1786 Voltaire, C. 1750. Asmus Ironreich von Bredo, Lieutenant General, November the 30th, 1753. Gothold Ephraim Lessinge, Foreign Member, 1769. Frederick Slyer Macher, Macher, proper member, 1810. Hermann von Homholtz, corresponding member, 1857. Foreign member, 1870. Proper member, 1871. Ferdinand George Freibenius, proper member, 1893. Max Plunk, Max Plank, P L A N K, proper member, eighteen ninety four. Alexander Stewart Murray, corresponding member, nineteen hundred. Freitz Haber, Albert Einstein. Proper member 1914. Kurt Seethe, S E T H E, corresponding member 1920. Proper member 1930. Herman Grappo, proper member 1938. Christoph Ludwig von Still, S T I L L E, 1692 to 1750. To curator. Well, that comes to the end of my reading, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, thank you, <clears throat> thanks for watching, and I hope you did it like it. So, <laughs> um, I will have more videos available here before long. And thank you for watching. This is brought to you by
Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and write comments. We love feedback. I'm <laughs> sorry.